we are just heading into the Bungle Bungle. Honolulu. Honolulu. So we've just come to the, it's called the Bungle Bungles Caravan Park. It's just pretty much at the entrance towards the National Park just as you come off the highway. And here's our caravan over here in storage. So $20 a night to store it. So can't drag them out there. So we've just popped her in storage, grabbed ourselves an icy pole, just chucked the swag and that in and we're gonna head out there and do some walks. A bit warm yeah. at the moment, it's 35, but we might do one later on today. Or... Yeah, we'll see how we go. See what, see what takes our fancy. They did say there's a couple that are in the shade, so we might even do those ones this afternoon. We'll see. But anyway, let's see what we can find out there. Down here having a swim. So we've just come into Wallardy Campground. At the moment, this is the only campground that's actually open. And we are just going to go and find ourselves a site and set up and... Go and have a look at we'll go and watch the sunset. Have a drink. Yeah. See if it's busy or not. So, alright, let's go. So the drive-in was nice, it wasn't too bad. Um, no. Online booking only. Lucky we booked online. Hmm. And we actually bought a yearly parks pass when we were in WA last year. And so we actually didn't need to buy another one, it's still valid. We've still got another couple of months on it. So that saved us $15 today so that was a bonus and obviously you just drive in and you just pick a, pick a site, pick a site. So there's no one here, no one over here but wow is that something about a creek or a seasonal creek so it's probably got no water in it uh, well that looks like water We've just picked a spot. It's just on the river. Not that there's any water in the river. But there's a few people around. There's a toilet just through there as well. A couple of campers dotted through there. What do you think? Well, it feels like I'm back up at Laroa, out mm. on the river. Just no water. Just no water, yeah. Yeah, well. Let's set the swag up. Yeah.
So, not sure if you're going to be able to see the red in the sky over there. It's beautiful. Isn't it? Kraken sunset. It's magnificent. Love the outback sunsets. Mm, now I look forward to the stuff. Sunrise. Stars. No, the stars. Oh. So it's an early morning start today. Where well, you can see the sun rising just over there. It's just up. It's only 5.30, no, 5.50. Yeah. But we have been up since about quarter past five. Yeah. So we're heading out to walk around the domes and things like that. Um, there's a couple of walks down this lower end of the park and then we'll... Um, we'll see because you can't camp at the top end can you? No. It's closed at the moment so we'll um, It is going either... to reopen, it's just not, it hasn't been busy enough. Yeah so we'll either camp back down here, we'll go up there the Savo because I think some of the walks up there are in the shade so we might do them this afternoon, a couple of them or whatever and have to come right back down here to camp but that's alright. We'll just see, we'll see, see what the temperature does today too because yesterday was pretty hot out here, it was what 37, 38? Yeah, yep. I don't know. We'll let you know when we know. Well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Like, um, I mean, obviously, we sleep in a swag when we're out these ways, but. We just slept with the swag wide open and it was beautiful last night. It wasn't cold. It cooled down nicely, but... Um, and for those that have watched our Fraser Island stuff, you'll know that quite often we had the awning off the car and the sidewall and all that, that we'd sleep the swag under just to keep the dampness off. But at the moment here, it's, we don't have that issue. It's warm as, so... And it was actually beautiful because we had the swag open last night. The stars were absolutely oh. amazing last night. They were last night. Yeah, there was not much of a, um, a moon. I didn't actually see the moon at all last night. No. So it was dark and the stars were just, yeah, magnificent. So. We did go to bed and I did tell early. Dale it was 9 o'clock, but it was actually Let's just say early, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, let's uh, go and have a walk around. Yeah. So, bye-bye car. What time? 6.30. Right. So we are going to do the domes, we're going to do Cathedral Gorge and we'll probably do Picaninny Creek Lookout. Yep. The rest are obviously just their longer walks but we really want to have a look at the other ones too. So. Yeah, alright. We'll see how we go. Head in, do the domes on our way in, then Cathedral Gorge, then uh, pick an any creek lookout, and then straight back out. Let's do it. Really is actually quite spectacular, isn't it? Mm. These must be the, the longer one, the 30 kilometre return, allowed two days. Ah, uh, righty, eh? Imagine that, two days. And then you've got to return, so it's like, it must be 15 k's, and then, It'd be cool. then you've got to walk it again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day we'll come back and do that. Oh, I can hear a helicopter in the distance somewhere. Hey. Oh, well. So we're walking down this... Oh, it's, an, it's a, uh, obviously a creek bed. But yeah, the the domes here are just, they're beautiful, aren't they? The orange and black in them. Hear a helicopter in the distance somewhere. It's just like we're walking in a creek bed. Yeah. Hard rock bottom creek bed. Be impressive when it was raining. Here's the, um, the way the water's carved these rocks out, the sandstone out and all. Look, it's pretty impressive. And their signposting out here is fantastic. Like, you, yeah, big, orange, big yellow orange signs. You can't miss them. Okay, we're 
gonna get around this one, yeah. Smile. I've still got it. Well done. Right, now we just put it at the end. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's where we walked in there. Good bye, yeah. I reckon we walked in there. Yeah, if you get the map out, you might be able to see. So you're not really up that high here, but it gives you a completely different view of them. And the breeze on your back's beautiful. Love it. We're walking into Cathedral Gorge now. So, just come across, who are the people we just met? Trippy and Oz. Oh, Trippy and Oz, yeah. Um, Jacinta and Ethan. Ethan, yeah, nice people. We'll uh, never know, we'll catch up from somewhere again, probably. Yeah. Look at this. We're meant to have walked up along that track there, I think. We probably should. So our walk's just taking a turn now into the shade, isn't it? Yay. Yeah, wow. Such a difference. Oh, that's so much cooler. Yeah. So we've been told that birds have worked out now the cane toads are poisonous. So what they do is they drop them, flip them over, and eat them from underneath. There's a couple of them just here. So they don't get the poison glands that are on the, just behind their eyes sort of thing. I think we're here. At the cathedral. <laughs> How's it go? I feel like I'm in the pin. I do that to you. Wow. There's a sign over here about it. Wow, it's nice in here out of the sun, isn't it? Yeah, way cooler. Mm. Well, there you go. This is us. Head around the domes trail loop. Yeah. Just 
been to end of the domes walk. Quite a few k's. It's beautiful here in the shade just with that little bit of breeze blowing. In. That elephant rock, haven't we? Yeah. And it's meant to look like an elephant. And it, I guess you can see how it does because there is a little bit of a gap here somewhere yeah. for the trunk. Yeah, an elephant rock. Mm. Well, you got to have an imagination, don't you? So we've come to the northern end of the Bungle Bungles or Honolulu, and we're just going for a walk into the Kidna Chasm. And the husband look out, we'll have a look out while we're there. And... Yeah, it's um should be a nice walk in here. It should be, I think it's mainly in the shade, so looking forward to it. The only thing I don't like is that you um butterfly. Butterflies. Is that what you don't like? No, um, beep, what was I going to say? Oh. <laughs> I'm um, really not sure, but I'm intrigued to know. What are we talking about? <laughs> the walk. It's the one thing you don't like about... Oh, with the rocks. Too busy looking down. To yeah, look, to look yeah, around. Look mm. So I've just spotted up here a bowerbird's nest there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, what's that sign say? Does that say bow bird's nest? <laughs> yeah. Bower there you go. Bird, bower, the male great bow bird builds this structure of sticks and twigs. The bower is decorated with coloured objects such as bones and stones to attract female bow birds. After successful courtship, dancing by the male, mating takes place in the bow. Wow, there you go. The female builds her nest and leaves the young birds alone. There you but go. In other words, the male, he does his business and then he leaves. <laughs> yep. And the problem being? Looks like we're going up through there. Throw me the water off your marooned island. Well, he's going to leave me here. <laughs> oh, terrible throw. Wow. How am I going to get over? Well, you just jump from there to there. Do you want me to come back and catch you? Do you want to aim? We've got the video going, so we'll be right for funny time videos, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? My hand's here. Woo! 
Not the little legs, you know. Bugger, I reckon we could have made money out of that. Oh. You happy for me to carry your water for a while? Oh, yeah, you want me because you got the same hole. Oh, yeah, I know, but. <laughs> It's a bit of a challenging area. Do you reckon I need all the help I can get? Well, if we take one thing out of the equation, we'll be right. Wow. wow. This is pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Oh, a spew. There's obviously a ladder there. Yeah. I reckon the end of it's there too, somewhere. Mm. Oh, well. And so that brings us to the end of the Bungle Bungles episode. It got very, very warm that afternoon. We ended up heading back to the caravan um, and continued across to Broome. So next episode is all about Broome. We do a bit of work there and show you around but if you've got any questions about the bungle bungles just uh shoot us a message and we'll get back to you and uh hit the like and subscribe thanks bye wow well, why don't you come and take a photo with me not in it because you're always in front of me well you go in front of me i just thought i'd take a video of you and this is how she walks and sometimes her head wobbles a bit like that but most of the time it doesn't and, and that's how cute her bum looks. Oh yeah, that's what, that's what we want, Trace. <laughs>